Hi, I'm Christy and I'm a teacher here at Lucashaw. Today I'll be giving a presentation on what kinds of extra materials I like to use in my classes and why. I learned while I was in primary school in Australia that I am what is called a kinesthetic learner. That means I learn by hearing, seeing and doing something tactile like writing all at once. As an adult, I no longer learn this way, but I remember how fun and interesting it was to learn when I was a child. Therefore, I try to apply this method of teaching in my classes by adding extra materials where I can. There are three extra materials that I really like to use. One is videos and or pictures, two is quizzes, and three is props and gestures. Please allow me to explain how I use these uh, extra materials and why. Firstly, I will use videos and pictures to explain difficult words and concepts or to give examples about what to do or what not to do. For example, I taught a PPT about corsets. The students knew what they were but had never worn one. So they didn't truly understand the health risks or the damage that could happen to a woman's internal organs. However, after I showed a short video, they truly comprehended the health risks and the damage. I have also taught lectures and metros where I use videos as a good and bad example. It adds variety to the lesson and it allows the student to see what they are learning and which example to follow. It also leads to discussions like, why is this a good example? Why is this a bad example? And to compare the two. It keeps the students focused and attentive on the lesson. However, it should be noted that videos should not be too long. Five minutes at the absolute most. Three minutes for a video is ideal. Next, I will prepare short quizzes for the students to complete at the end of the lesson. I will use PowerPoint or Microsoft Word and then upload the quiz to the platform before the lesson starts. At the beginning of the lesson, I'll tell the students that there's a quiz at the end. The students pay more attention during the lesson because they want to ace the quiz at the end. At times, quiz might have picture prompts uh, along with the printed question. The quizzes should not be too long. Five or six questions is enough. Lastly, and perhaps my most favourite extra material to use, is props and gestures. This is especially effective when videos and pictures don't get enough information across. For example, I conducted a public class on Australian food. I was able to prepare some traditional Australian food that the PPT spoke about. The students found this particularly interesting because they could see firsthand the texture of the food. Using these props led to discussions like what does the food taste like? What does it smell like? What is it made from? What are the health benefits from eating this food? Gestures are also a good way to emphasize what you are saying or teaching, especially if the student knows little or doesn't understand the subject at all. However, do not get carried away by too many gestures or unnatural gestures, as this will detract from the lesson and you as a teacher. So these are the three main extra materials I like to prepare for the lessons. One, videos and pictures, two quizzes, and three my favorite props and gestures. I hope you have found this presentation helpful. If you would like more fantastic videos please follow the YouTube channel My English Teaching Journey. Thank you for watching this video. Bye!